following in the footsteps of such famous foursomes as the Beatles, the A-Team and of course Jeffrey, George, Zippy and Bungle from Rainbow, the unlikely heroes of B Company once again wisecrack their way from Warzone to Warzone in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Most sane people would run off and buy an island full of friendly ladies with a truck full of stolen gold, but that's not so for Sergeant Redford and his boys. Instead of living it up like kings, they end up on the trail of a terrifying secret weapon which has been lost since World War II. That's like when a lottery winner stays working in a factory. Utter, utter waste. Give me the money. I'll spend it. Hmm. The single player campaign this time round is a big improvement on the first game with much more detailed graphics and a slightly more linear structure to the levels creating a more modern warfare feel to the game. The characters as before are great fun and their constant bickering is always reason to raise a smile. <laughs> Unfortunately, this campaign is incredibly short though, and almost insultingly easy, even on hard, and the disappointing ending feels rushed and left me feeling ultimately a bit short-changed. Luckily for us then, the solo story is backed up by an amazing online experience, which, if packaged on its own, would easily be worth the price tag on the box. The game again uses the impressive Frostbite engine, which this time delivers Destruction 2.0, which basically means all the buildings and landscapes are now completely destructible. Think twice before hiding upstairs in a house if a tank is chasing you. At best it will blow a hole in the wall exposing you to the elements. At worst it will bring the whole thing crashing down on your head. Battlefield veterans will slip into this like a sweaty foot into a sock made of silk, as all the old favourite modes like Conquest and Rush make an appearance. Plus, included for the first time ever, is a squad versus squad deathmatch mode. Special. Noobs will find the learning curve for this game slightly steep at first, but get some mates online, form your own squad, and you'll be racking up the XP in no time. If the Modern Warfare games are getting a bit boring and you fancy a great online multiplayer game that requires a bit more brains and some nifty teamwork, give this game a go. They may be B company, but this is definitely an A-star game. <laughs> Keep it real, keep it game tank.